Please stand. Our first hymn is number 13. All people that on earth do dwell. Continue with our service. Let us turn to page two of our booklet. We say today, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. On these two commandments and all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. 
Let us therefore rejoice by putting away all malice and evil, and confessing our sins with a sincere and true heart. We say it together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you, against our name, in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen all goodness and keep in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the Christ is the resurrection and the life. Raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness that we may seek those things which are above. We are raised with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. We start a man of praise this morning with number 111. 111. <laughs>
799.
please be seated. We remain seated for our first week. The first reading is taken from Acts chapter 9, verses 36 to 43. In Joppa there was a disciple named Tabitha, which when translated is Dorcas, who was always doing good and helping the poor. About that time she became sick and died, and her body was washed and placed in an upstairs room. Lydda was near Joppa, so when the disciples heard that Peter was in Lydda, they sent two men to him and urged him, Please come at once. Peter went with them, and when he arrived, he was taken upstairs to the room. All the widows stood around him, crying and showing him the robes and other clothing that Dorcas had made while she was still with them. Peter sent them all out of the room. Then he got down on his knees and prayed. Turning towards the dead woman, he said, Tabitha, get up. She opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called the believers and the widows and presented her to them alive. This became known all over Joppa, and many people believed in the Lord. Peter stayed in Joppa for some time with a tanner named Simon. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading is taken from Revelation chapter 7, 9 to 17. And I look, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, 